Hey, tea leaves. I'm here with my a best friend. You've seen her on the channel before, because I can't get away from her. That's rude. <laughs> That's actually really rude. You've been on. She's actually been on. Krishma, yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh. me, yay. <laughs> Again. But yeah, so mm, I told you I was gonna play with another friend, Rachel. I don't know if I told you guys, but she couldn't continue this game with me. So now Rachel, I'm, your butt face. Yeah, Chris, they know each other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now I'm playing this with Krishma, and hopefully we can continue this game and finish it and together, and it'll be a great experience and stuff. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, and so. so so like Mookie mm -hmm. uploaded part one of this, and so just for you guys' information, like she had me part two. Me There's on. two parts. Oh yeah, 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 you uploaded both parts already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So she forced me to watch those. So um, yeah. <laughs> so I can't. Sorry, I've known. I know what's happened. Mhm. Mm and I already played the third part with Rachel, but then I'm not uploading that, so I'm. I know what's gonna happen now for a little bit, but whatever, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is her room. You guys saw it last time, I walked around a bit. So now we're, we got an envelope, I remember, and then that's where I stopped the video. Why is it on yeah. the floor? It, it came in the mail, I guess, or something, the, maybe. There's no, like, mail flap for the door. My goal <laughs> is to pinpoint all the flaws within this game. Thank God the music is over your voice. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh God. Um. All right. Let's. Ugh, God, Krishna. What? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> You're so nitpicky. Okay. Let's in open it. Looks invite. like it's I'm from Bellevue. Nitpicky. All right. Let's look at it. She has a lot of so... plants in her. What? She has a lot of plants in her. I can't hear you. What? She has a lot of plants in her room. <laughs> Just damn everywhere. It, I'm sorry. You're, you have such a quiet voice. Okay. okay sorry. 1960. Oh damn. Okay. Yes. So these are letters in her family. Just so you know. And um, I remember me and Rachel when we played this part. We were so confused. Rachel and who I. Was sending what? Whatever. Um. <laughs> But anyways, um, so these are a bunch of, there's 25 letters, and it's just telling, like, a whole history of it, so. Um, would you like to read, no. Krishma? <laughs> read. Okay. I demand you. Go. Go ahead. I don't want to read the, okay, Dear Lauren. So, mm -hmm. wait, her name's Lauren? This is, um, I think Lauren is, uh... What was that Her again? mom? I don't even know. Oh, wait, no. Wait, Lauren is Rosangela's mom. So, uh, Rosa wasn't born yet, so this is just oh, in the past. Okay. Yeah, right. so Lauren is her mom. So, dear Lauren. Okay, dear Lauren. So, you've been here, so you've been at NYU for two weeks now and have not called. Oh, she's at NYU, smart. <laughs> I'm sure things are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. Things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his big sister. I admit I am still a bit nervous about you living in New York City all in New York all by yourself. You're carrying you're carrying ID with you when you go out, like I asked. Over. You know me, just being a mom. Somebody has to keep your head on straight, kid, as your dad would say. And remember that you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mom, dad, and Jack. Okay, I was wrong. It was not. It's not her mom. It's her aunt. This oh, is her okay. aunt. Okay. So her mom sent a letter to her aunt, and uh -huh. Jack is Jack is the father. You, you'll see later on. I'll reveal. Anyways, so. Um, continuing on. So she went to NYU and she's just doing her own thing. I'll be Jack. Hello, sis. I am writing this on my new 
St. Clair Model XV, whatever that is. Mom says that improving my handwriting is a lost cause. Oh, oh my yeah, this is a <laughs> it's a typewriter. Um, so she got me this. Keen, huh? Keen. I. Because <laughs> you can't backspace on the oh, typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> I've already typed up a few stories on it and this letter. Can't type for long because dad says the noise drives him up the friggin' wall. What does he know? What does he know? <laughs> yeah, dad, what does you know? <laughs> so he. <laughs> Um, so how is life in the big city? Big bad city. Troy is dead boring. I guess he lives there, as usual. Why do you have to go to college, huh? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving, Aww, Jacko. That's, cute. that's so sad. <laughs> that's funny because like most siblings aren't as friendly as these two seem. Oh, yeah. I... Wait. That's why I was surprised yeah. when I read this. <clears throat> Are you and your brother like that? Uh, we're actually pretty close, so it's like... Nah. <laughs> My brother is just, eh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yeah. <laughs> I like how you can't describe him anything more than just, eh. <laughs> He's a mystery, yeah. Alright, your turn. I'm gonna keep reading. I don't... Okay. Do, you... Do I have to read the date, too? No, gosh. <laughs> okay, dear... <laughs> Dear Lauren, well, Thanksgiving time has come and gone, and so have you. In just two short months, I can already see you evolving into a capable young woman. You have outgrown this small town, Lauren. That much is obvious, uh, right? Okay. Jack will mm -hmm. be following in your footsteps soon, I am sure. Visiting you in New York is all he talks about. Aww. Speaking of Jack, I know you're worried about him. We all are, but don't feel that is your right. Responsibility. You are his sister and you love him, but he's got to learn to live without you eventually. If you're growing up, let him grow up to till Christmas, love, mom, dad, and child. Hmm. So, he's kind of like dependent on him and, you know. Oh, that sounds like my brother and me. No. It's so <laughs> I, I weird. Think he's like the big sister kind of thing. That and, is so yeah. weird. Because my brother. Can I remember? Yeah. Yeah, because my brother is very like dependent on me, so it's like weird. <laughs> <laughs> but just so you know, remember how the doctor said that her aunt got dementia, so we know where this is going. And it's gonna be really sad. Oh, I don't like this. Um, anyways, continuing on. So, my name, uh, my turn. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case mom or dad overhears. Mom's been acting odd lately. So remember how, um, the doctor said that it's from even from her grandma to her aunt and then now to her that she's likely to get dementia so this is the grandma so i think my, grandma. my grandma has dementia oh really i mean i don't know i'm just thinking that. <laughs> uh i mean it's a really sad condition so well i um, th i mean you can never tell with her really yeah yeah she's just one of those old people and you never know oh. I never really got close with my grandparents. You know, okay, so. this is getting sad. Keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, mom's been acting odd lately. It started a few days after you went back to New York. She was dragging me shopping when she suddenly screamed and fainted. She was pointing to the corner of the room and there was nothing there. We brought her to the hospital, but she says she's fine now. And she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. Dad's no help. Can you call and over? Mm. Try to cheer her up. She won't listen to me. Just don't tell her about this letter. I hope she's okay. Jacko. And we know this is... It's just, it's just gonna get worse. Ooh. Ah, your turn. Okay, um... Lauren. Lauren. He seems concerned after our last phone call. I just wanted to write and reassure you that everything is F-I-N. Let it... Let me... Oh, uh, what? Let, Let us, us know. know when you are coming mm -hmm. home again. With love, mom, dad, and dad. Can I just say that the font in this is like... It's kind of blurry, so it's hard, a little bit oh, hard to read. It's okay. I, I think this is the last letter she sends, so you're fine. <laughs> Which is sad, too. Oh, God. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. Dear sis. Mm. Hmm? Mom's gotten worse. Hmm. 
Mom's getting worse. He said it it best during blah, blah, blah. He said it during You said it best during Thanksgiving. Oh my god. It's been <laughs> I can't read. It's like somebody is watching over her shoulder. Paranoia. Oh, she sits by herself for hours, pretending to read when it's obvious she isn't. She's been covering her ears as if to keep out a sound and closing her eyes tight. Dad's losing her pa patience with her. He's convinced she's lost her mind and I'm starting to agree. She refuses to get any kind of help. Why can't she see that there is a problem? That it, this isn't normal. Not normal at all. Why can't she see that? I hate to admit, but I'm kind of scared. Scared for her. I don't know what to do. Jack. She's oh, like, he's like slowly, like, when I remember, I was just like, oh god, this is really sad. That's so, so sad. I don't like mm -hmm. that. Lauren, it has a name. Mom locked herself in the bathroom this morning. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else there, but there wasn't. Um, I listened. I couldn't understand it, but she s did say the name Joey. I asked her later who Joey was, and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, "If you don't, if you know what's good for you, never mention that name again. This could be the key. If we find out who Joey is, maybe we can save her." Jack. I don't like this at all. Mhm. Mm and it's like, as you can tell, time passes by slowly. Dear Lauren, well, it's done. The final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot, but it had to be done. Mom's been, mom has now been committed to a mental ward. Whoa. So they finally, mm-hmm. I have to say, I'm relieved. I know how you feel about it, but you weren't there. You didn't come home to see her screaming and tearing out her hair, her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cuts were all over her face, and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked, I just closed the door and waited outside for Dad to come home. Oh, that's so sad. Mm hmm <laughs> It was awful. She clawed at him, clawed at his face, and drew blood. It was- it will haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming out, Lauren. I don't think Dad and I would have handled it on our own. She kind of drained us, you know. Can I get- come to New York for a visit? I need to get away for a while. So, it's just, it's, wow. Ooh, boy. That's like put my mood down so much. I know. It's, it's really sad. Um, congratulations, summa cum laude. At first, I had no idea what this meant. Do you know what this <laughs> means? I'm guessing congratulations. I don't know. <laughs> um, it means, you know, um, the medal I got? That I got a 4.0 through four years, and I got a medal or whatever. Oh, yeah. He's smart That's now. the same thing. Yeah, this is the same thing. Uh, okay. I was like, oh, she got the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I always knew you were uh, a smarty pants, sis. <laughs> hmm? Oh, that's you. Yeah, the, yeah, it's still Jack. Um, now you've got the documentation to prove it. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the weekend. It was just like old times, except you weren't smoking then. Ooh, so she awkward. started smoking. Yeah. Oh, so I think she's starting to get stressed. Like, she's oh, starting yeah. to, like, really, like, mm -hmm. feel the si situation. New York is an amazing city, and Columbia has a great campus. I can't wait to move down here in September. But until then, I've got to deal with the old, our old, grumpy old man. Um, he's insufferable, as always. Ever since Mom, he's been hard to talk to and very hard on me. I shouldn't tell him you're smoking now. Maybe... He'll concentrate on you for once. See you. Ooh, ooh, tell oh, ooh, maybe now. I should. <laughs> See you, yeah. Oh, bitch. See you again soon. But then again, I I can see his point. Like Jack gets all the attention from his dad, and his dad, you know. Oh yeah, that happens a lot. Like, um, I feel like once one kid in the family goes to college and the other one's left at home, like that kid gets all the attention now. So mm -hmm. all the pressure. All the nitpicking from that to get that stuff that So, that's definitely like a, a very realistic thing. It is, yeah. It's happened, Lauren. Just like you said, it eventually. It would. It eventually said it would. Whatever. I'm in love. Oh, oh this is so God. Cute. <laughs> I was oh so my happy. Gosh. <laughs> when I read this, I was like, ah. Okay. Uh, her name is Maria. She's from Italy, and we met in statistics class. 
She asked if she could copy my notes because her hand was tired. Really? We ended up, yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> we know we ended up having lunch and we've been inseparable ever since. <laughs> You're just cringing over what? there. Pew. Um, she's incredible. She's got the most amazing red hair, and I want you to meet her. I'll come by soon. <laughs> he only likes her red hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, okay, what else? <laughs> like, yeah, I know. It's just like, um... <laughs> um, also, I think this is where Rose Angela got her hair. Red hair, so... Um, <laughs> um Lauren, are you alright? Ever since Mom's funeral, so oh, they... Shoot. Yeah. You've been hard to reach. I know it's been hard of, on us, but it's been six months. I know it's been hard on us, but yeah. So it's been six months since they contacted each other. Oh no. Hmm. That's really sad. Is this I just getting worse and worse? It, yeah. It really is. I tried calling, but you never answer. I came by the other day, but you didn't open the door. I knew you were there, Lauren. I could hear you. I was using the spare key you gave me, but you changed the lock. Oh, oh my whoa. God. She <laughs> went even- she went as far as changing the lock. That's mm -hmm. really bad. Paranoia. Ooh, boy. Come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. You won't ask for any- uh, ask any questions. Oh, we won't ask any questions. Just come. Mom might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister, Jack. Lauren, who is Joey? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joey. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. It's getting real. Really? Is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joey? Is that why you've dropped off the map? Or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sakes, talk to me. So, she hasn't been replying at all. This whole time. Jeez. So. Check. This is so intense. Like, it's... I didn't think this game would be so, like, <laughs> dramatic. Like, it got real, real quick. <laughs> I wonder what's the problem with them. Like, they're both seeing this person named Joey, and they're both, like, being paranoid. Like, I don't understand what's mm -hmm. going on. I know. Scary. Um, Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I am not sorry. I didn't want to do it, but you left me no choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you is the only choice. Oh, <laughs> oh God. If my if I... did that to me, I would smack him. I'd be like, um, really? I mean, what if you got to, what if, like, it's been many many months and your brother hasn't been contacting you at all what would you do i'd go you over know? to this house and i'd beat his ass like excuse you for not picking up the damn phone <laughs> true it's hard to like imagine yourself in this situation it's just like oh god um he told me some odd things you won't talk to me but you'll talk to a total strangers You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours. And you talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. He heard it, and so did I. Not that any of it makes any made any sense. That alone is disturbing. It's just disturbing enough. But then he saw you collapse. He were you were all alone in some obscure park in Bronx, and then you just fainted. He was about to call the ambulance, but then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. You were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you now. Ooh, boy. Hmm. I, I kind of... I, I saw, like, some previews. And, um... I th it might be, like, um... Um... I saw, like, a preview of the protagonist talking to a ghost. So it might be a spoiler, but... It could be, like, some kind of, like... I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> This is so sad. I don't. Oh man. It'll get better. Don't worry. It. Hopefully, this game has a happy ending. So. Hopefully. So this is from Lauren. So he, she finally, is, is giving a letter back to Jacko or Jack. All right, I'll read it again. Um. So Lauren. Um. <clears throat> 
Deku, please stay away. You. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's been too stressed. I'm sorry. She's. Oh, let me give her a smoker voice. You know how they have like those deep voices or whatever. Um. Wait, I don't know how to do it. Sound like she's like on drugs or something. <laughs> Please stay away. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> um, should I just give her a manly voice? Make okay. her a manly voice. Do a manly. Voice. Jacko, please stay away. Don't worry <laughs> about me. <laughs> There are things that need to be done, and I'm the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. Does it say it's aunt? Some... Uh, I think somebody is still. Okay. I can say all. All, all I can say. Okay. All. All. <laughs> all I could say is that I understand her mother more than ever. She was never crazy, Jacko. Trust me on this, and take comfort in that. In You've it. grown up, huh? In it. Damn it? What do you mean? Take some comfort in it. You read that wrong. Oh. <laughs> You're so focused on like your voice. I'm sorry, it's hard. <laughs> um <laughs> You made me self conscious. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> um You've grown up and that's all good oh. God, and <laughs> Shut up, okay. um... <laughs> God, dude. <damn it. laughs> you've grown up, and you've grown tough, and you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. Yeah, you don't boy. need me. Sorry. Can you not? <laughs> don't interrupt me. <laughs> Shut the heck up. <laughs> love you. Okay. You're um, rude. No. You're rejecting rude. my love. <laughs> yeah, I'm for you just call... I don't need your love. I don't need your love. Hey, you don't need anyone. <laughs> Moonty, you're an please stay woman. away. Don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done. Oh, okay. He Shut up. Okay. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister, Lauren. Oh my god. That was a hard page. No. Alright, Jack. <clears throat> I'm returning your letter because I refuse to accept it. No. Stubborn you don't. AF. Huh? Stubborn AF. Oh. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> so I... <laughs> no, you don't need to fight my battles anymore. My battles. I'm not 14 years old anymore. Um, but we are still family, and that's important. We are family. I'm face palming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Okay. Um, uh, especially now that dad has died. What? So Hold he's, up. he's literally all alone right now. Oh no, his brother's all by it. Oh, her brother is mm -hmm. all by himself. That is so sad. Look, you obviously have something going on and that's fine. I don't have to be involved if you don't want me to, but I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are getting married in a moment. Oh. You're coming. Wow. No stupid excuses. So, that's a thing. Did you say Maria? It's Maria. 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 It, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like people saying my name is Monty, so whatever. Monty. Monty. Um, so Maria. So they're getting married. That's nice. He's so old now. Yeah. Remember so, he like met, met um, Maria in high school? Mm, yeah. For her red hair because she was too tired to write her notes. <laughs> what a cute little romantic story. Yeah. Greetings from Greece. So they're on their honeymoon now. If there nice. are any words... Huh? Nice. Yeah. I wanna go to Greece. <laughs> if there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. See? Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write you write to you that I'm glad you made the wedding. So she did come to the wedding. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Of course, I'm still worried about you, but somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says hi. Jack. Honestly, I feel like really bad for the aunt too, because I don't know, I don't think she has any friends or anything. And like, yeah, I mean, he seems to be doing well with like even after like the parents. Mm-hmm. 
he got yeah. married, he's moving on with things, and yeah. she she has her own problems to deal with. Yeah, it just... feels like she's like kind of just stuck in like this new apartment in New York, and like this kid is like her brother is like you know moving on, he's in a life for himself. What? Look, next he's gonna have some kids. Mm hmm. Yeah. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. You read that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, some pictures. Um, dear Aunt Lauren. Yes, Aunt Lauren. You're an aunt. I'm a dad. Oh, didn't I tell you that we're gonna yep. have a baby? <laughs> Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Rose Angela, the protagonist. After Maria's grandmother. She's so quiet, she hardly cries at all. I'm all set up to spoil her run, but Maria says, take it easy. She looks just like her mother, and there's a bit of you in her eyes, too. And mom and dad. Everything our family was or will be, this child is it. Life is changing so fast. I just want to hold on to this tiny creature and never let go. The future is an exciting place, and I have everything I could ever want. I don't want anything to change, ever. Jack. So this is her dad. Her dad is mm -hmm. Jack. And also, it's... It's kind of sad because she, she's the only person that is going to be, like, from this family. I don't know if they're going to have another child, but um, as we can tell, Lauren isn't getting a boyfriend or a husband anytime soon or having any children. Yeah, yeah like, she's like, um... Mm -hmm. Which is, so, like, she's, it's, like, very dependent on her. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this. April 21st, 1981. Dear Miss Blackwell... It is indeed within our legal rights to take custody of your five-year-old niece with the death of her parents. You are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we will start the necessary paperwork. Sincerely, this guy. So basically, the aunt had to take care of the, take care of her, as you saw. Like, um, you remember the oh ashes and everything. God. So her oh parents no. died, and she had to be stuck with the lore of the aunt and then she grew up yeah. in that environment and now she's all alone oh my gosh and that's it okay the phone's right. ringing so i'm gonna pick it up real quick hello Ms. angelina hi hi bob thanks so much for submitting your last thanks review so on time for once. for once oh, yeah rude. i've yeah. got a little assignment a little for you they're, they're saying assignment it, so. Human interest, Blackwell. You don't, Suicide. You don't have to read that. College girl named <laughs> oh, Joanne <okay>. Sherman. <laughs> That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Oh my god, that's so... Did you Maybe this that? isn't a bad thing. Okay. It's yeah. like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Like, so she started, like... She's so aggressive. Like... She is aggressive. I mean... Oh my god. She's been alone, and there's been a lot of things that happen in her life, so I, I can't really blame her, you know? She's a snappy person. <laughs> um, but yeah, she... So, we're gonna end the episode here. We learned a lot today, huh? I learned that she's cranky. <laughs> very cranky, like, I thought I was pretty cranky, but no, this chick is. She's very cranky. <laughs> oh boy. And that, that comment, like... I already have enough death in my life. I was like, oh. God. I know. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So sorry. <laughs> but you gotta get the paycheck. Um, next time we'll look at the pictures and we'll go and um, interview that girl and let's see and try to progress the story and stuff. So, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Any last comments, Krishma? Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, actually. <laughs> Just like, ah, uh, whatever. Um, eh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, don't do drugs, kids. Um, 
be nice to one another. Subscribe. If I mean, if you want, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe and like Minty's channel. And do all that good stuff. Y'all know. Y'all know what to do. Aw. Thanks. 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 Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye, bye. Woo, you can see it. Woo. Woo. Okay. <laughs> really? Can you? You chill, bitch. I'm like you're high. <laughs> Woo. What? Oh my. Damn. You know what kind of animal um, you are? Not you. A raccoon. <laughs> I'm you know, breaking off her friendship. Rude. Yeah, today we're not gonna be friends. Okay, let me start my episode. God, you dummy. Wait, look, can I? Can How I? How many crackers do you have, breakfast? you dummy? Oh my God, person, go away. Who's that? Go. It's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, I'll cut that out. <laughs>